Okay, if we zoom back out, you can see that we've shown a pavilion next to the Eiffel Tower. In a second, we'll add some people underneath this pavilion. Here, the pavilion will be our symbol for facultative intracellular, because it's technically outside, but still provides some shelter and protection from the outside world, just as if the people underneath the pavilion were inside of a home. So Francisella is facultative intracellular. As you can see, we've added two more characters to the scene, but they're a bit hard to see, so let's zoom up. Aha! It's the Joker himself, and he appears to be holding a granny hostage. No wonder Bruce Wayne came flying out of his Batmobile in a hurry. He's trying to stop this psycho villain from hurting the granny. As you can see, the Joker is cutting this granny's arm, which is clearly quite distressing for her. The arm getting cut is here to help you remember that Francisella causes painful skin lesions. It appears to be too much for the granny to handle. Look at her holding up her hand against her forehead. She's stressed out, hot, and likely sweating from all of this anxiety. Her hand up on her head like this should help you remember that Francisella causes a fever. Also recall from our previous videos that a granny is our symbol for granuloma. So the granny right here should help you remember that Francisella is associated with granuloma formation. This is an image of a granuloma. Notice that there is a large circular pattern of walled off debris right here. This is surrounded by white blood cells, including lymphocytes and macrophages. Okay, also notice that there are a bunch of bug silhouettes around the Joker character's face. These are actually flies. They like to hang around him because he's a pretty nasty guy and doesn't care too much about staying clean. Anyway, the flies are here to help you remember that deer flies are reservoirs for Francisella. 